Hey everyone, there was an especially high level of filler in the news this week, yet more articles about Brexit of course, not to mention a selection of quote social and environmental stories that were about as newsworthy as if Fiona Bruce had hosted a debate about whether or not to add the milk before or after the tea bag. Yet in the meantime, the world actually came pretty close to starting nuclear World War III this week with military tensions between India and Pakistan rising higher than an estimate for Jeff Bezos' divorce bill. The way that India and Pakistan were acting, you'd think that one of their cricketers had been tampering with the ball. But in actual fact, an Indian fighter jet crossed into Pakistan to attack militants who had killed 40 Indian troops in a suicide attack. That's the official story, but personally I don't get how you kill people who've already been involved in a quote suicide attack, at least not if they've been any good at it. Cut to the chase, so in Pakistan shot down the jet and detained the pilot, later returning him as the situation was de-escalated. From what I can read, India and Pakistan did both ask for Britain's assistance during the crisis, but were disappointed when the UK interpreted this as, as a request for diplomatic assistance, rather than a request for a BAE systems to send a boatload of high-tech weaponry to help settle the issue once and for all. You know, the whole angle is especially confusing, as I imagine that Theresa May would finally jump at the chance to utilise nuclear war as a distraction from things back home. In the meantime, of course, Kashmir remains a fantastic Led Zeppelin track, but it's also an unresolved and unending attritional military conflict. It's a bit like sticking a humidifier and a dehumidifier in the room at the same time and seeing what happens. And certainly, while the peaceniks would like both sides to disband their nuclear weapons, the only way that's likely to happen anytime soon is if they throw them away attached to the top of an ICBM. You know, the first two world wars were mostly set in Western Europe, unless, of course, you watch the US director's cut where there's a bunch of extra scenes set in Japan, but most people expect the third war in the franchise to have a new location, possibly Southern Asia. Like most film franchises, it's all about the Chinese market these days, and you really only need to see the war machines they're building in the South China Sea to see that they've profoundly misunderstood the Hollywood hashtag of quote me too. Anyway, see you next week if we're still alive. If you like these, click subscribe.